Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want to welcome everyone once again, newcomers, new uh, first timers. Welcome to Periscope. Welcome to Overcomers Deliverance and Healing Ministry. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Isigi. Welcome you. Overcomers Deliverance and Healing Ministry is based on spiritual warfare. That's why we come up with such a topic. We are overcomers. We, you are overcomers. You are overcomers. The Lord will turn your circumstances around you to turn to, to favor you in the name of Jesus. You are overcomers. The Lord will turn your circumstances around you to favor you in the name of Jesus. Welcome to overcomers in Jesus' name. Amen. You are overcomers. You are overcomers. The Lord will turn your circumstances around you and favor you in the name of Jesus Christ. You have to confess every morning. You have to confess this. I am overcomers. The Lord will turn around me, around, around me every circumstances to favor me. The Lord will turn every circumstances to favor you in Jesus' name. You confess, I am overcomers. God loves you. God loves you so much. God loves you and I love you. Yes, God is so good. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Yes, correct. You are overcomers. The Lord will turn your circumstances around you to favor you in Jesus' name. I'm going to talk to you the subject called Break the covenant of eating in the dream. Break the covenant of eating in the dream. There are demons that feed people in the dream while they are sleeping. Demon that, that comes to feed people while they are sleeping, I am going to destroy them in the name of Jesus. I'm going to destroy that dream completely from your life in Jesus' name. Some of you, you went to bed while you are enjoying your sleep. The demon comes and starts feeding you in the dreams. Some of you, you are fit, you, they are feeding you fresh, human fresh. They are feeding you human body. They are feeding you evil, sickness, diseases. That's why we want to destroy their covenant. We want to command these demons to get out of your life forever. Never come back again in the name of Jesus. What we should be careful about is how our bad dreams about is our, how our bad dreams affect us. What we should be careful about is how our bad dreams affect us. We have to be quick in examining ourselves, but at the same time, immediately subjecting our thoughts and feelings to Jesus. We have to subject immediately. We have to subject our mind, our thoughts and feeling, feelings to Jesus. When you get such a bad dreams about eating in the, in the, in the dreams, that you have very terrible dreams, immediately examine yourself and break it. Don't wait time. Don't, don't worry. If you can, you can drink the blood of Jesus by faith, you say, I drink the blood of Jesus. I drink them. You take your two hands and say with your fist, I drink the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, I drink the blood of Jesus to destroy and melt every satanic dream that, that come to me while I'm sleeping. You just say like that. While you are sleeping, the enemy come and plant evil and, and left because you don't know what is happening when you are sleeping. Probably
Proverbs 4 verse 23, the Bible says, instruct us to guide our hearts. If the devil cannot attack our hearts when we are awake, then he will do so when we are sleeping. When the, the devil cannot attack you while you are awake, he will wait until you are sleeping. It's when he will come to attack you. This is why when we are finally awake and after asking God to expose to expose to us the meaning of our bad dreams, we are to we are to protect our hearts from feeling condemned, tortured, and deceived. We have to guide our hearts. When you you are you are when you wake up immediately, you have to ask God to guide your heart. Do not take away the spirit within me. Ask God to guide your heart. That's what the Proverbs is saying. Ask God. The Bible says, Proverbs 4, 23 says, Instruct us to guide our hearts. If the devil cannot attack our hearts, when we are awake, then he will do so when we are asleep. When we are asleep is when he will come and put you and torment you and, and leave you out, worn out completely. Even some of you, you will wake up sick. I was praying for a man in, in Africa, Nairobi. He is a, a prayer, a football prayer. This man, he, he dreamt that he, he was beaten by snake. And a lot of snake started fighting him, beating him. Now, when this man woke up, he found that the place where the snake was fighting him, it's paining and it's swelling, he can't walk. He can't walk. That's how he got his sickness. He was the pain was was very aggressive. He was worried. He did everything. He was panicking because it's a prayer. It's a it's a, it's a, it's a football. It's a, we call it soccer. In Kenya we call it football. But in America football is something else. In Kenya we call it football. But here we call it soccer. Soccer. So this man is a soccer prayer. Now he can't pray because he's sick. His feet is hurting him. So immediately he went to, to search for help in, in the internet. My video came up. He started listening, listening, listening. He started praying and praying, praying with my videos. I have so many videos about the dreams. Then after that, he called me while he was preparing to go to hospital. After he called me, then he said that I, I got your videos. I, this is what happened. I've been praying. I praying since that, that I wake up. I've been praying. Thank you, thank you, thank you that the, the, it, it has cooling down my, my heart a little bit. He woke up when his heart was banking, beating very hard because he saw it is really. And when he woke up, he found pains. He feel pains. So what you do, what you do after asking God to expose to us the meaning of our, our, our bad dreams, what you do is to ask God to protect our hearts, to protect our heart from condemning contempt tormenting and deceived you have to ask god to guide your heart because you can be deceived and you you believe that this is true now if this man did not have a knowledge of searching the internet if he could have rushed to hospital then it could be something could have happened now he prayed so hard after the prayer the man felt better and he was healed yeah so if he didn't do that he could have ended up in a hospital, even a beauty, the, the leg, because witchcraft came to him in a form of snakes and fight him and portion his leg because it's a prayer. We are to immediately shift our focus from our dreams to God's word. Let's look in the book of Isaiah 29, verse 8. The book of Isaiah 29, verse 8. The Bible says, it will be as when angry man dreams, and behold, he is eating. But when he wakens, his anger is not satisfied. So, as when a thirsty man dreams, and behold, he is drinking. But when he wakens, he wakes, behold, he is fainted, and his thirst is not quenched. Thus, the multitude of all the nation will be who wage war against Mount Zion. You see, here the Bible is talking about the, the two people. One is dreaming about drinking, another one is dreaming about eating. So 
the devil is using this dream, this scripture to feed people in eating in the dreams. As you see, you can always, sometimes you can, you can, you can dream that you are eating for sure. And then when you wake up, you feel you are angry, you, are, you, are, you have nothing. So, now, this is not a problem. But the devil is using this to infect the people with the dreams, with, with the sickness and the diseases. Through fitting you in the dreams. In the name of Jesus Christ, I cast out, I break every covenant the enemy has made against you. To, to fit you every night, to fit you in the dreams. I break them. I destroy them in the name of Jesus. When you see here, the Bible is talking about somebody is drinking. You, you can dream like drinking dirty water. All of fetus, all of evil. That is how the enemy twists the things. Because the Bible says people can drink, can dream. Eating. And then the enemy, the witchcraft, use this scripture to feed people in, in eating in the dreams. Let's look in the book of Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes 5, verse 3 to 7. The book of Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 5, 3 to 7. The Bible says, The saying is true. Bad dreams come from too much worrying, and too many words come from foolish people. If you make a promise to God, do not be slow to keep it. God is not happy with the fools. So give God what you promised. It is better not to promise anything than to promise something and do it. And do not do it. Do not let your words cause you to sin. And do not say to the priest at the temple, I did not mean what I promised. If you do, God will become angry with your words. And he, and he will destroy everything you have worked for. Many useless promises are like so many dreams. They mean nothing. You should respect God. You see here, the Bible is talking, the, 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 the Bible is saying, but dreams come from too much worrying and too many words. Comes from a foolish people. So the, the more you worry, people are so much, people are worrying so much. You know, there's people who worry for everything. So the more you worry, the more you open yourself to the devil and they will come and feed you, the more you dream. Now the devil knows that you are a worry. You worry, worry, worry everything. You are worried. Everything you are, you are taking time to worry. Worry, the more you worry, the more you open door for the enemy to feed you in the dream. So the Bible is calling... Too many words come from foolish people. Foolish people, they are the ones who sit down and start worrying. The Bible says do not worry even what you are going to eat and wear. God is taking care of that. But you find some people, they sit down and start worrying. So when you worry, you open the door of the enemy to come and feed you. The enemy definitely will come and feed you because the Bible says that the, the, that people dreams about eating and drinking. So it is opposite to the devil. The devil has made a covenant that he would be feeding people who are fools, people who, 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 who dreams in the dreams. The devil has made a covenant that he, he will feed people. Therefore, I destroy the covenant of the devil in the mighty name of Jesus. Then the Bible is warning us. It says, if you, you know, you worry, talkative, you talk too much, you see bad dreams, you see bad vi uh, videos, you see, you, you, you see, the more you see things, the more you open doors to the enemy to come and attack you and feed you. you that's why you find the spirit, the husband, you, you find yourself sex in the dreams. You find being attacked very hard in the dreams. The Bible, it has good news for you. I am going to break them and destroy every satanic dream, every witchcraft dream. You know, the devil is a counterfeit. He always copy things and twist it. Is. He twisted things of God, things that would be good for you. He twisted them. For example, the Bible says, you can dream, you can dream that you are drinking. But when you wake up, you find you are thirsty. 
That's true. You can dream that. But here is the enemy that make you to drink the blood of human being. Make you to drink the, 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 the urine. A woman was forced to drink urine. After drinking the urine, when, he, when she woke up, she got high blood pressure. And that's how she, con she, she, she got convicted. She got, she, she got a high blood pressure. That's how she was infected by high blood pressure. A woman, a woman had a dream that a man was, was forcing her to drink the urine. Now the woman was saying, we don't drink the urine. Urine, you cannot drink urine. Urine is not water. The woman was arguing, but the man forced her. And eventually, because of this, the woman drink it. After drinking, the woman was, 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 was infected with the high blood pressure. The high blood pressure was so aggressive, which, which produced asthma. After getting asthma, she became complicated and she died within one week. That's that after many people are being fed in the dreams. If you don't pray very hard, you are you will be infected by sickness which will end your life very fast. Therefore, you don't need that. You have to come against the demons that is feeding you, the witchcraft that is feeding you in the dreams. And also remember, the Bible says in Ecclesiastes 3, verse. Ecclesiastes 5, verse 3 to 7. This is what you have to go and check it and read it by yourself. Many words, it can make you to start dreaming. Also, when you make promises, you don't fulfill. Then you say you are choking. The devil does not choke. That's people who like to choke, the devil does not choke with you. It's your enemy. He uses your word and, uh, and infect you and, and destroy you. The devil is waiting every word you say. So wherever you must be careful with your words. Don't joke with your enemy. The devil does not joke. He is listening and say, yeah, is that a joke? Is that a joke? A child of God can, can mean to joke like that? And then he used that, that joke to affect you, to destroy your life. Don't use such a jokes, please. There's some jokes you don't, not, you don't need to open your mouth and say. The devil, your enemy, he doesn't joke. The Bible says a, a man who, who, who jokes, who's, who's, who likes to joke, is like a mad man praying with a dead body in the, in, the, in, the, in the casket or in the mortuary. That's how bad it is. So when you joke, when you say it is better, when you say that, uh, when you say I did not mean what I promised, if you do, God will become angry with your words and will destroy everything you have worked for. That is verse 6. Ecclesiastes 5 verse 6. So you must be careful with the words because God himself will destroy you. The devil will use those words to destroy you. So you are beaten both sides because you went to talk with God. You are you you went you, you you are choking with God, and the devil knows that children of God they don't have to choke with God. God is God. God needs respect. So because the devil knows that you don't choke with God, he will attack you very hard. And God also is very angry with people who are chokes. Don't try that, because you will open yourself to the, to the enemy, and the enemy will destroy you. Therefore, the people of God, I'm going to break every satanic covenant. Every covenant of eating in the dreams in Jesus' name. I am going to pray for you. In the name of Jesus. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil covenant met with the devil. And once I command them to be destroyed and be broken to pieces in the name of Jesus. You pray like this. I reject every evil covenant I met with the devil. And once I heard it in the name of Jesus, you pray like that. I reject every evil covenant I made with the devil. And once I heard it in Jesus' name, in the mighty name, you reject every covenant. I command that evil covenant that you made with the devil, and consciously or consciously, I, I command them to be destroyed and break into pieces in Jesus' name. I break. I break every covenant reaching in, in your life and your family. You pray like this. I break you evil covenants reaching in, the, in my life 
and my family. You have to break that evil covenant that is attacking you and your family in the name of Jesus. You can ask it the Holy Spirit. You can pray like this. Holy Ghost, separate me and my family from all evil forces. We are in union with in union with because of the evil covenant in Jesus' name. You separate yourself from evil covenants. You separate yourself and your family. You command that evil covenant from every forces, from evil forces, to be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Treasure write this. Holy Ghost, separate me and my family from all evil forces. We are in union with, with because of the evil covenants in the name of Jesus. If you can write it down, you can write it down that. And if you need this prayer to break satanic dream covenant, I will give it to you in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus Christ. Polish every, every, every binding rulers and, and raise the death binding me and my family because of the evil covenant in the name of Jesus. Satanic evil covenant that has covenanted that comes, they are illegal to come and take good things that God has for you. Holy Ghost, break and brought out every specific obligation and vocation committed standing against me and my family because the evil covenant in Jesus' name, because of the evil covenant in the name of Jesus. You ask the Holy Ghost to break and brought out every a covenant, every evil in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord, thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that in the name of Jesus, pray this prayer. You pray like this. I break you by fire in the name of Jesus. You robs and the chains of, of evil covenant holding and drag me and my family in the name of Jesus. You break them. You break every covenant. You break, you pray like this, I break you by fire in the name of Jesus. You ropes and chains of, of evil covenants holding and dragging me and my family in the name of Jesus. There are ropes and chains that are tying you down. That evil covenants cannot let you go. Every evil covenant, satanic dream covenant, I command you to be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. I nullify your illegal ground of the devil and in your life and your family because of evil covenants by the blood of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, every evil covenant sealed and concluded with the killing of animals, human beings, blood and unbloodly sacrifice, having marks, initiation, sexual intercourse, Eating and drinking, standing and walking against, against you and your family. I demolished and raised you out by the blood of Jesus. This is a very powerful prayer. Let me talk slowly so that you can write it down or you can follow me. Every evil covenant sealed and concreted with the killing of animals, human beings, Blood and unbloodly sacrifice, having marks, incision, sexual intercourse, eating and drinking, standing and walking against me and my family. I demolish and raise you out, or out by the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. I am repeating the, again this prayer point. Every evil covenant sealed and concluded with the killing of animals, human beings, blood and ungodly sacrifice, having marks, incision, sexual intercourse, eating and drinking, standing and walking against me and my family. I demolish and raise you out by the blood of Jesus or by fire in the name of Jesus. That is a prayer you can pray against against covenant eating in the dream every ungodly established friendship spiritually and physically running in your life 
and your family. That came through evil covenant. That came through evil covenant. Turned on the fire of God. Turned on the fire of God, locate them and destroy them in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, turned on Jehovah. She must to pieces every covenant and agreement of eating in the dreams. You have made. You have either you have made or you didn't make, but that, this is what the prayer is. Holy Ghost thunder of Jehovah, she marched to pieces every covenant and agreement of eating in the dreams. I have made and I have heritage from my family and my foundation in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, these are the, the, the prayer you need to pray. People are tortured and tormented because of this, because of eating, uh, eating in the dreams. Eating in the dreams is not something you can joke with. This is, that's why many, they are, they are infected by curses, sickness, diseases, poverty, loose of, of functions, loose of your good things, through eating and through eating in the dreams. Holy Spirit of God, separate me from every soul tie of eating in the dreams in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit of God, separate me from every soul tie of eating in the dreams in the name of Jesus Christ. All demons that have swallowed my wealth because I eat in the dreams, by the authority of Jesus Christ, I command you to vomit them now by fire in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ, all the demons that have swallowed my wealth because I eat in the dream by the authority of Jesus Christ, I command you to form it them now by fire in the name of Jesus. That is a prayer you can pray. I will give you those prayers. If you can't write them, you don't want to eat. I'm going to put them on the video. The YouTube, the video, the prayers will be under the need of the, this prayer. So you can get them. I want everybody to have this prayer so that you can you can pray. There, there are the dreams that when you eat, they will take your wealth, everything you have. They feed you through dreams. That's why you need to command those demons that is swallowing your wealth. Let them be, be destroyed in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ, I form it all my potentials, wonders, talents, destiny. I am swallowed through eating in the dreams by, by fire in the name of Jesus. I'm not going to see what you are writing. I'm praying now. I'm praying for you. So, if you can follow me or you cannot follow me, I'm going to give you our email address and the phone number to call me so that you can get these prayers. And remember, these prayers, it is so powerful. That's why I want you to go to our website and donate an amount. Don't call me if you, are not, if you don't donate to our ministry. Because people, they like free things. They like free things and it is not going to work for you. Yes. I'm, I'm here to cover you. If you don't have a cover, I will cover you. That's why I want you to be our partner. Once you are our partner, this prayer is free. You get benefits. But if you are not a part, our partner and you want to join us, you are welcome to join us. And you will get things free because you are our partners. Call me and, and, and tell me what you want. I will give you this prayer. I'm not charging you if you are our partner. Thank you very much. In the name of Jesus Christ, I form it all my, pot, my, my potentials, ventures, talents, destiny. I have swallowed through eating in the dreams by fire in Jesus' name. Jehovah, destroy with your liquid fire all that is dwelling in my spiritual body because of my eating, because of my eating in the dreams in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Jehovah, destroy with your liquid fire all that is dwelling in my spirit body because of my eating in the dream in Jesus' name. You can say amen. You can say Jehovah, destroy with your liquid fire. Let the liquid fire of God destroy everything that you have eaten in the name of Jesus Christ. You pray like this. Jehovah, destroy with your liquid fire all that is dwelling in my body 
because of my eating in the dream in the name of Jesus. Let the liquid fire of God melt, burn to ashes everything you have eaten in the dreams in the name of Jesus Christ. Sex in the dreams, let the Holy Spirit cut that, that, that organ, that penis, that vagina, that women are being experienced, men are experienced, let the liquid fire enter in those private parts and destroy them and burn them to ashes in Jesus' name. Ask the liquid fire to enter in that penny that, that is coming to sex you at night while you are sleeping. Ask the blood of Jesus. Ask the fire. The fire of God consume that demon that is coming to sex you and while you are sleeping. Condemn them. Because the Bible says you, you have to condemn them in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Jehovah destroy all the places where my spirit is being summoned in the night for night spirit to feed me with the demonic food in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Jehovah destroy all the places where my spirit is being summoned in the night for, for night spirit to feed me with the demonic food in Jesus name. You know you can be summoned by these demons and they take you to their meeting and you find yourself with the people you don't know. You are in the middle of so many people and you are eating there. Those are demons that have summoned you to feed you in the table of the devil. Eating in the table of the devil. They summon you and take you to their committee, their, to, to their meeting, and they feed you very well. Once they feed you full, when you wake up, they have taken everything. They have transferred your wealth. They have taken everything you have. They can come in a form of sex intercourse. That's how they get their power. And that's how they, 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 they get, they, 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 they work. That's how they work. They have to do that so that they can survive. If they don't do that, they lose power. They don't have power. If they can summon you at night and you go and start eating with them, you child of God, what do you do? You wake up early and you command the liquid fire of God to go to that, that camp and boil them and, and burn them to ashes and destroy and vomit everything you have eaten in Jesus' name. If it is sex, you, you command the blood of Jesus, you drink the blood of Jesus to wash away and wash everything that bump in your body in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost fire, scribe out every writing, written and, 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 and written order, co condition, mark, signs, symbols, and numbers working against me and my family. And, member, and, my, my, and members of my family in Jesus' name. Yes. You pray, Holy Ghost the fire. Scribe. 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 Out every writing. Written and unwritten order. Condition. Mark. Signs. Symbols. And numbers working against me. My family and... Mem my family and... Family members in the name of Jesus. I am going to destroy every eaten covenant. All those wicked and evil covenants. I am going to pray that God will destroy them in the name of Jesus. Every evil covenant sealed with all by the blood. Standing against, stand against the blood of Jesus Christ. I counsel and consume them in the name of Jesus. Every evil covenant Sealed with all by the blood against the blood of Jesus Christ. Cancel and consume them in the name of Jesus. I cancel them and I, and, and I and let God let the fire of God consume them in the name of Jesus. Every sexual covenant I have with the devil or I it, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Every marriage covenant I have. With the devil or I it, I nullified you in the name of Jesus. That is the prayer you can pray. You have to denounce and command them to be nullified and be destroyed in Jesus' name. Every marriage covenant you have made with poverty, suffer hard luck, tears, hardship, pains, or I or inheritance, you command them to be cancelled in the name of Jesus. You pray like this. Every marriage covenant I have 
with the poverty, suffer hard lucky, tears, hardship, and pains, or I, I inherited, I cancel and raise it in the name of Jesus Christ. That's how you can pray. Pray these prayers. Every evil covenant I, I have with the barrenness, miscarriage of good things, failure, solo, solos and hatred, I heritage, I delete you in the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes, you pray to these covenants. They are covenants that, 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 that is made against you that you will never have children. Co covenant of barrenness, miscarriage of good things. When you are about to get something, miscarriage happen. A lady was calling me from, uh, from Washington. She's a nurse. And she was doing a test to get a license. Nursing license. She failed only one max. One max. That is miscarriaging of good things. Only one max. Mister, miss, and she fell like that. This is the covenant that the, the enemy has covenanted. That's why you need to pray. Hey, every evil covenant I, I have with the barrenness, miscarriage of good things, failures, solos, and hatred, or I heritage, I delete you in the name of Jesus. You delete every evil covenant of barrenness, miscarriageness. You know, miscarriage, they, they, you, when you are almost to get something, you get it get miscarriaged. It's not that the only children are miscarriaged. Anything good things that is going to happen to you, you've been working for, for like a student has been working, studying day and night, but the result is very, that is miscarriaging. You find a woman has been expecting a baby. After be happy, rejoicing, expecting this baby, after five months, four months, miscarriage. The baby died and that, that's how the enemy eats the baby from the womb. That's how the enemy takes good things. Yes. Every evil covenant I have, I have with the barrenness. If there is any covenant with barrenness, mis, 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 miscarriages of good things, failure, sorrow, and hatred, or I hated, I delete you in Jesus' name. Delete them. Delete them in the name of Jesus. Yes. Every evil covenant I have with the limitation, lack of good helpers, people praying back evil for good and hatred for love and fruitfulness, or I hated, I tear, I cancel and raise you in the name of Jesus. Every evil covenant I have with the, with the limitation, lack of good helpers, people praying back evil for good and hatred for love and fruitfulness. Or I hate, I tear, I cancel and raise you in the name of Jesus. Every evil covenant I have with spiritual blindness, sickness, laziness, importance, and inability to do good things, or I hate it, I break in the name of Jesus Christ. Evil, every evil covenant I have with bitterness, accident, loose, fairy, at the, at the, the peak of success, and an timely dead, or I heritage, turned of the Holy Ghost, I break and release it in the name of Jesus. Break and release it in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every covenant, every evil covenant I have with the idols worshipping, worshipping the devil, never to love God, to be the devil advocate, to, to popular, popular, populate the kingdom of hell, and to, to duplicate the kingdom of Jesus Christ, or I hate it because of Jesus Christ, I cancel and release them in the name of Jesus. Yes, I plead the blood of Jesus. Every evil covenant I have with the tail anointing, never to do well serving God, with immorality, divorce, programmes, shame and committing adultery, or I hate it. I brought you out of my life and my family in Jesus' name. There are the evil covenant of the tail. The covenant of the tail, whether you do what, you are a tail. The Lord says, the Bible says, you are not a tail, you, will be, you are the head. But the covenant of the devil, 
make you detail all the time you are detailed you are backward you are not moving forward so i destroy that demon that makes you to be a tell instead of of of, of the head therefore i destroy and arrest them with the blood of jesus in the name of jesus every evil covenant i have with the foolishness mistakes self-destruction using my body for ungodly purpose and filthiness or i held i raise you in the name of jesus every you know you can be make a covenant of foolishness you fool yourself every evil covenant i have with foolishness mistakes self-destruction using my body for ungodly purpose and filthiness or i held I raise you in the name of Jesus. Every covenant, every evil covenant I have to, to corrupt my, my reproduction organs, to withdraw away my blessing, not to be useful and responsible, or I hate it, I cancel and raise you in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord, thank you, Father. Lord, I thank you for this. Every evil covenant I have to make mistakes, to be defeated, never to conquer my enemies, never to have victory over my enemies and mingle evil with or hurt. I delete you in the name of Jesus. There are some covenant that make you, you cannot defeat your enemy. You cannot conquer your enemy. Those, those are the covenant that has made through eating and, and feeding you in the dreams. That you cannot be able to conquer your enemy. You cannot be able to defeat your enemy. When you, you destroy that enemies, you can rest one prayer point the prayer machine can pray to the kingdom of darkness and they will pay and run away from you in the name of Jesus. Every evil covenant I have, I have to be swallowed by evil to lose my position, people to look down on me, people to battle me and never to occupy my position or I hate them. I bless you in the name of Jesus. These are the covenants. People they dream like looking down when you have such a dream that you are dreaming, looking down, people are looking down on you. These are the prayer you need to pray. Every evil covenant I have to be swallowed by evil, to lose my position, people to look down on me because people to belittle me and never to occupy my position. I, I hate and I break you in the name of Jesus. <coughs> Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. I want to thank you, Father. I pray that God will help you. Every evil covenant, I have to be hate, hated, reset, abuse, never to receive my good reward and to be attacked by evil voices. I hated, I nullified you in the name of Jesus. There are some covenant that, that come and feed you at, at while you are sleeping. The covenant of hatred, you have been People hate you. They hate you so badly. They abuse you. You will never receive anything good. You have, you have been attacked by evil forces. Therefore, you pray this prayer. We call it Masinigan prayer. Masinigan prayer bullet. When you pray that, such a prayers, the demon must leave you. They have to get you out. Then you will see people love you. People come to you. They, people will be good to you. Do you know some people when they see you? Some people when they see they see they see people, they just run away or they get out away. They don't want to see you. The demon that is called racism, the demon that is uh, attacking people, when Satan has fit you and put a mark of hatred, wherever you do anything you do, it will be bad for them. Even if you do anything good. To them, they see is bad. Nothing good. Even if you give them money, they will still hate you. They will never love you. So you break it and destroy it in Jesus' name. Every evil covenant, I have to be antichrist to scatter the house of God, work against the children of God, to be an instrument for evil purpose, and to destroy immunity. Humanity, humanity or I hate it, I delete you in the name of Jesus. You pray like that. Every evil covenant I have, I have to destroy good things 
to scatter marriage, cause divorce, to destroy the inst institution of marriage, God established, and to convert people unto evil. I hated, I raise you in Jesus' name. These are the covenant. When you are eating in the dreams, they can covenant to you all these, these things. You will be scattering good things. You will be scattering marriage. That's why you see many marriage, they scatter, they divorce. That's the covenant of destroying good things. Yes, Lord, my Father, my God, I cover this prayer with the precious blood. I pray that God Almighty, the, the, the dream of eating, the dream of covenant of eating in the dreams, I destroy you from the roots. I bind you and I set you a place. You will not manifest. You will not, you will not succeed. You will not manifest. You will not prosper in the life of these people. Wherever has been having eating of, of, of in the dreams, I am taking authority by the power and the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. I am taking authority now by the power in the blood of Jesus to destroy every eating in the dreams. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every covenant of eating in the dreams. I am taking authority and to break you into pieces, to cast you and destroy you completely. You will never manifest. You will never prosper to these people. You will never prosper to this man. You will never prosper to this woman. In the name of Jesus, I destroy you. I bind you. I break you into pieces. In the name of Jesus, every satanic dream, all witchcraft dreams, all wicked dreams, evil dreams that has come to you while you are sleeping, I am breaking them and destroy them in the name of Jesus. I pray that God Almighty will protect you and see you through in the name of Jesus. Thank you, fell mad. God bless you so much. See you tomorrow night. We don't have to, to midnight today. We have ending our prayer. Prayer we've been praying for days. We have ending today our prayer. After this, you are free to go and eat, take breakfast, eat and enjoy yourself. Tonight, we don't have any prayer. Tomorrow, Monday, we have four nights. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We have nights. We have all night midnight prayers. So we we'll start our midnight again Monday. Then we go through Thursday. And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we'll be having our own uh, morning prayers. Don't confuse yourself. I thank God for you. Call me. Call me if you need these prayers. This is the prayer everyone needs to have. Call me if you want to be partner with us. If you want to be a covenant partner. If you want to be, you want me to cover you. I can cover you. And when you are covered, be sure that no demon from the pit of hell will touch you. Ask my children. They cannot. You need a cover. You need a spiritual father. You need a spiritual mother. You need me to be your spiritual mother. So if you know that you have no cover, you can be in charge, but you don't have anybody to talk to to cover you. I am here. Call me. My number is 647-608-5207. Our website is www.overcomersdhministry.blogspot.ca Also, we have our landline prayer uh, number, you can reach us 5905-487-7196. We have prayer line. We have prayer line number. Prayer line number is 712-775-7085. This is the prayer line number. It is a free number. You can call and come in. The access code number is 59 Five one one nine, and the time is midnight, Monday to Thursday, midnight twelve midnight, and you can join us Friday, Saturday, Sunday morning eight o'clock a.m. You call us on prayer, prayer line. I will pray for you. Thank you very much. God bless you. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Siki, saying bye bye. See you tomorrow night. Don't come. Tonight, we don't have tonight. Tonight, we don't have any prayer tonight. So, go sleep, enjoy, and take care. 
See you tomorrow night, midnight, 12 midnight. God bless you. I love you so much. There's nothing I can do about it. Bye.